Hi guys and welcome to TJ Smiles. Today I have a book review for y'all and no I'm not in front of a bookshelf because my bookshelf is a hot mess. My family is going crazy downstairs. What are they doing? Okay, they're quiet now. So I'm doing a book review on More Happy Not by Adam Silvera. And one thing I like about this book is the smiley face on the front cover is talked about often in this book so the front cover 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 is relevant to the storyline and I just love it when books are like that. I went ahead and gave this book four out of five stars. I absolutely loved it, loved it, loved it, except I found it hard to follow in parts. And that's why it was four and a half five stars. Though that was probably my fault because I wasn't paying close attention to it at those times, but Still, I felt like it wasn't, the transitions weren't very smooth at parts, and that's why it was hard to follow. So basically, the start follows the story of a boy who's had a hard life. He lives in the hood. He has no good friends, and his father is abusive, and then eventually his father commits suicide, and he's left having a hard life. He has severe depression, and things just aren't going well for him. Although, at this time, he has a girlfriend, and it seems to be looking up for him. And then she goes away for a summer camp, and obviously he's still badly in love with her, or he thought he was, at least. And then along comes this boy, and they become great friends. And then, eventually, feelings start to mingle between the two, and eventually he goes on throughout the story, and he ends up breaking up with his girlfriend, and he takes... And because so many bad things have happened, he decides to undergo the sur surgery that alters your memory. And because he takes the surgery, he has some... Obviously, he can't remember things that's happened in his life because he took the surgery. He can remember the people, but he don't remember what they did to him and what he did to them. And the type of relationship they had. And this is a very experimental surgery. It's very, like... Some people agree with it, some people don't. It's very, like fights and riots about it, like it's, it's like, it's kind of like what we have in today's society with child abortion. You either agree with it or you don't, and both sides are going at it like crazy. That's basically the relevance, the best example I can give y'all. So, back on track, back on track, where was I? So basically, the surgery don't work as well as the doctors hope, and he has a severe side effect, which... Basically, he's not going to be able to remember anything. Basically, he's like an old person in a sense. He can't remember what he had for breakfast. He can walk out of the house one day and just get lost and not find his way home. He may forget who his mother is or who his brother is, or though that I really doubt it was because he'll remember them, but not like what they did and what they talked to him about. But anyways, so yes. There's other things that go on with this book, with like, it talks about the gay rights, and people who are gay, and like, accepted, not gay rights, but gay acceptance, and I thought that was like, important to read about, because it's such a prominent thing in today's society, and yeah, I don't want to say too much else, because I don't want to spoil the story for y'all, but I'm sure if you want to know the story with it being spoiled and spoilers, you can find a hundred other videos on YouTube about this because this was a very popular book. And yes, it was a good book, but I don't think it deserved the hype it got off of the book to community. I don't know. I just wasn't thrilled with it, but I did enjoy it enough to give it like four out of five stars. So yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!